Hey Instagram family, so I constantly get messages from people asking um, about my tin work and how I do my tin work. Um, so I'm going to go over a simple four piece um, transition, two sided, um, and from there uh, go over how I mark it out, how I cut it, fold it, put it together. Uh, in my opinion, it doesn't matter what area of HVAC you're in, whether that be install, service, residential or commercial, it is always good knowledge to know how to make a simple four piece because it can get you out of a lot of tight corners sometimes um, just knowing how to put it together. So when I make a four piece, I tend to make two distinct pieces. Um, the front and the back are usually similar and the sides are similar. So I've made a couple here already. So with our back pieces, um, what I do is I mark it all out, fold it, um, put the cross break, mark from the inside, and then I'm going to have a one inch fold over on the corners. Now that is so at a later stage, we can put on a piece of cleat and our side piece slots directly into that, which will look something like this. So the side piece, they do not have a fold over and they just slot into the cleat, like so. Because one thing I hate on transitions is when people tape the corners. It looks like shit, the customer is gonna think it looks like shit, and it ruins the quality of your work. So I like to do that, pop a couple screws in it, and it looks much better, and it's a nice airtight seal. So we'll just take this apart again. So what we're going to do now is I've marked out the front here. Um, so I put a one inch, or sorry, a half inch mark and a one inch mark on the bottom and put them across. And that's for doing our flange on the bottom. I've got my one inch marks on the sides for our foldovers for our cleat to hook onto. And then I've got an extra three quarters on the top. And that's so when you put the cleat onto the existing ductwork, you can hook that into the cleat, once again, creating a nice uh, airtight uh, join. Um, and then what I do is I always put an F for front on the inside, so you don't put your cross brace on the, uh, on the wrong side of the tin. So that's it all marked and cut out. And then what I tend to do is I'll notch the corners. So we'll just notch these corners out. So, creates a nice distinct edge for us to use for our folds. And then what we'll do is we're going to bend the bottom flange first. So this is the, the flange that's going to go onto the furnace. So when you install the furnace, obviously they have that little, uh, I think it's a half inch fold up. So if you create a nice flat edge, it sits on top of the furnace and it can allow you to screw down into the furnace or you can screw through the face into that lip and it's just going to create a nice edge, right? So if you bar fold as our one inch fold and our half inch fold, uh, or three eighths, I use it as a half because by the time you fold it over. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do the one inch first and I'll fold it to the outside of the transition at 90 degrees. Like so. Then I'll put the three eighths on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend that back to the inside of the transition. If it'll let me. Here we go. Like that. And then just take my duck bills and we're just gonna flatten it out. So it's nice and straight. Make sure it's still at 90 degrees and we can just give it a little bit more of a bend if we need to. Look at that nice, straight, flange edge that can go on top of the furnace. Then I'm going to fold over my edges 
with the one inch. So that's to the fold to the inside of the transition. So it's one. That's two. Done. And then I forgot to do my cross break. But that's not a big deal. Because all you do is just lie it down. And I always do this on top of cardboard because it marks easier. Put your uh, bar fold and use, I either use a demolition screwdriver or the back side of my metal hammer. And we're just going to push down and mark it. And then do the opposite way between the corners. There you go. So now we have all our pieces made up. So what we're gonna do is start to assemble them and you'll see how it comes together. Um, a lot of the time on my uh, post, you'll have seen I work in quite cramped spaces, mostly uh, about the width of my shoulders, which makes things a little bit tricky. So I like to put the back in first, B for back, simple, right? So I'll put the back in first, get it slid into place. And then I'll hook the cleats on. So I want to make it so that the outside of the cleat is where the uh, side is going to slide into. So we just hook that one on. And then I'll hook this one on. Okay, and I'll show you. Right, so imagine this is in place. We got our cleats in. This is all screwed into position. Then we're going to put our sides on like I demonstrated before. So put our sides into place. So that's the left hand side. We're going to put the right hand side. Like so. And then We'll put our cleats onto here as well. So you put one on there. One on here. All right, and then that's ready to, to pop our front on. There it is, simple. And really, if you don't want to, apart from screwing it down onto the furnace, you don't really have to put any more screws. There's gonna be cleat around this top edge that holds it onto the existing ductwork. Um, and also there's the cleat here. It's gonna be pretty, pretty uh, sturdy. I mean, but I usually put two screws down each side. I'll put one in the top, one in the bottom, all the way around. Uh, just to make it nice and solid and make sure it's not going to pop apart at any time and then where your cleats go onto these edges there will be a slight gap on the corners here so what I like to do then as many of you have uh, seen already I put a little bit of foil tape just a small piece to fill the corners and then I'll put on my green tape duct seal the whole thing peel off the green tape and it looks nice and clean um, a lot of the time on our installs the aesthetics of the job are what really make it. Um, the customer might not have, you know, the biggest idea of what's going on within the furnace and the system, but if it looks super good, um, they think they've got their money's worth and really that's all that matters. So there's your four piece transition, super simple. Obviously if it's a, a four way offset, it's gonna take you a bit of time, um, but really, that's all there is to it.